You know when you go through analysis by paralysis? What did no paralysis by analysis? See, I'm too much in my head. You know when this happens? You live too much in here, and not enough in here. And it's a seems to be a lifelong practice, but that being said, it does get easier the more you do practice. And that, what do I mean by practice? It's more getting into your body, man. As Elliot Hall says, breathing into your balls and just doing instead of thinking. And that's why I've turned on this camera and just see what comes out. That's what she said. Don't get me wrong, the brain is a very powerful tool. Incredibly powerful. But when the mind becomes your master instead of your servant, that's when problems can occur. And this is the story of my life where I used to be so paralyzed even just from social anxiety and just the story that comes to mind right now is like I remember I was in I was in grade one and I was so shy that I remember I was in class and I wanted to ask the teacher to go to the toilet right because I was busting and because I was so terrified sort of like a deer in the headlights I actually pissed my pants and it's like uh, it's, it's funny, but at the same time, that could just be a defense mechanism because it was incredibly embarrassing. My grandma had to pick me up and uh, walk me home, right? And this is one of those things of like, sometimes your weakness or your biggest challenges in life can be your biggest blessing because if you integrate and embody those weak parts of yourself, so to speak, that's when you can gain the most strength. And now look, I've got over literally 100,000 followers, well, at least on my original channel, Your Mate Tom. And this is what I do for a living, is speak. You know, isn't that... That's why I actually, when I think back on it, it's quite funny. And, uh, yeah, the universe has a sense of humor that way. And uh, so, uh, and the reason why I'm sharing this personal story with you guys, which I've shared before, actually, it's because I want you guys to know where I've actually come from. I'm not some dude who just was confident all his life. No, quite the opposite. I, I would say that I, you know, not that it's a competition, but I, I think it's safe to say that I had the most intense form of social anxiety in primary school and high school. So no matter how much you think you live in your head or how much you're struggling from social anxiety, you'll be all right. Uh, and in fact, it can be quite a blessing uh, because I don't think, you know, so if you, you know, if you look at life as a video game, imagine if there were no obstacles, no challenges, nothing, no resistance. It'd be pretty boring. Imagine playing Super Mario with no Goombas and Koopa Troopers and you just walk in a straight line. You don't even have to jump. There's not even any platforms. You just walk in a straight line and you save, you know, you go in the castle, save Peach. It'd be pretty freaking boring. Like there, there is a reason why there is an opposing force in nature. But I think it's our fearful relationship with it that stops us from thriving in our lives, right? So how does this go back to social anxiety and getting out of your head and more into your heart and doing? Well, it's that. It's doing. You know, I think uh, Mel, Robin, Mel Robbins talks about this. She talks about how like once you get an idea to do something, whether it's a creative project, a business, or walking up to a girl or whatever, you have to just do the thing before you give your mind time to talk you out of it, you know what I mean? So that's really what it's about. And that's what courage is. It's being scared but doing it anyway. And this is how it worked with this YouTube channel, right? Not this one, but your mate Tom anyway, is that I just talk in front of a camera. And talking in front of a camera can be quite frightening to people, and it was, uh, when I first started, like I, man, if you go back, my very, very, very first video that I uploaded on YouTube, of me speaking anyway, because I actually used to make metal covers on another channel, but uh, the first video that I ever made speaking in front of the camera was talking about my first ayahuasca experience. And I was going through sweats, cotton mouth, like stuttering, and I had to do it over and over and over and over and over again. It took me hours just to make that one 25 minute video or however long it was. And that's where it kind of stems from, man. And Terence McKenna talked about this uh, years ago, is that nature loves courage. And this is true. Actually, I want to get a quote. It kind of smells like poo in here. You shit yourself, Barbie. Did I step in poo? Mm. Anyways. Uh... Ralph Waldo Emerson said, 
God will not have his work made manifest by cowards. It's a bit harsh, and especially if you are struggling with uh, paralyzing social anxiety, uh, but this is true. I just don't think that in this reality, you can just sit back and not face any of your fears and live a life full of fulfillment, you know what I mean? And yes, just live an optimal life. I think that fear is there for a reason. And I'm not saying, of course, like, you know, like I'm afraid to jump off a cliff. It doesn't mean that I should do it. Otherwise I wouldn't be here. And I, I think there's a distinction there. But some practical tips to get out of your head and more into your heart, uh, you know, apart from actually just taking action is, uh, there's a, is to journal, just write out whatever you're thinking, whatever comes up, just, bleh, just regurgitate all these thoughts that come out of your mind because then it clears space and you're able to think more clearly. You know, either that or uh, um, Elliot Hulse talks about bioenergetics, kind of, bleh, bleh, uh, you'd have to check, I'm going to look like a moron. <laughs> I'm not the best person to explain it. But it's really getting into your body, you know what I mean? Like exercising, explosive stuff. Maybe you want to do some boxing or do some martial arts or join a tribe or do something that you're afraid of. Maybe join a public speaking group. Something that really scares the shit out of you. If you're afraid to talk to girls, go to a bar or join a pickup group. You know what I mean? There are so many communities out there who would love to help you no matter what problem you're facing right now. But that's where it starts is taking that action. It's that first step, man. The, what is it? The thousand mile journey begins with a, with a single step. Yeah, you're going to embarrass yourself, sure, and maybe when you start a business venture or if you want to start a YouTube channel, let's say, for example, you're probably going to be shit for a long time. And, but that doesn't matter. It's about enjoying the process and doing it anyway. And you think that, oh, but what will people think of me and blah, 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 blah. It's, mate, it's all bullshit in your head. People don't think about you as much as you think. In fact, they don't care. And what other people think about you is none of your business, actually. It's all just justifications and excuses that your mind projects onto reality to stop you from doing what you're here to do. <sighs> I think that's a good note to end on. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. Let me know if you have any requests below. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. Click your notification bell if you want to get notified obviously of future content. That's it guys. Hope you have an awesome day. Much love. Peace.